Tonight, I'm going to show you everything you need to make Frankenstein Rice Krispy Treats. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Okay, let's acknowledge the cadaverous elephant in the room. I know that this is not Frankenstein. This is Frankenstein. This is Frankenstein's monster. So don't at me. I know. I love this time of year because there are so many creative treats that people have come up with, not the least of which is this one, which I found on the 365 Days of Baking and More website. I'll link to it in the description. When I saw how cute these were, I knew I had to make them. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Frankenstein Rice Krispie Treats, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used 10 ounces of marshmallows, 8 cups of crispy rice cereal, 1 quarter cup of butter, 1 half cup of marshmallow fluff, some green food coloring, 1 and a half cups of dark chocolate, 36 candy eyes, and 18 small Tootsie Rolls. I also used a greased 9 by 13 baking pan, a saucepan, a large mixing bowl, a spatula, a cutting board, some parchment, and a bag for piping. Okay, let's make some candy. In a saucepan over medium heat, melt the butter. Add the marshmallow fluff. Add the marshmallows and stir until it's almost completely melted. Add some green food coloring and stir until it's completely mixed in. Use more than you think is necessary because the color will be diluted once you add the cereal. I wish I'd known that before I made this batch, but I make mistakes so you don't have to. Place the cereal in the mixing bowl, then add the marshmallow mixture. Stir until it's completely mixed. I decided to put some gloves on and dig in, but if you do this, be careful as this is very hot. Add the coated cereal to the 13 by 9 pan and press it down, then refrigerate it for at least 15 minutes or until firm. Cut the mini Tootsie Rolls in half. Remove the pan from the refrigerator and cut the rice mixture into whatever size pieces you'd like. I ended up with 18 pieces, which I think is a perfect size for these. Melt the chocolate and dip the top of a piece into the chocolate. Let the excess drain and place it on a lined cutting board. Continue with the remaining pieces. Transfer the remaining melted chocolate into a piping bag, 
pipe dots where you want the eyes to be and stick candy eyes to the dots of chocolate. Pipe a mouth onto the face. Pipe some chocolate onto a Tootsie Roll half and stick it to the side of the bar. Place another Tootsie Roll half on the other side. Continue with the remaining pieces and refrigerate until set. And that's it! If you're enjoying this video and would like to become a true compadre, click the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the channel. I'd love for you to be a regular visitor to the Candy Kitchen. Slanchava! Come on, how cute is this? <laughs>